Hi guys, Language Mathematics here. Um, this video is about how you perform inverse in matrix. Okay, two times two matrix. Okay, just a quick one, right? Okay, so I will be giving you like a few examples on how to do that. Okay, so it's just inverse matrix or on how you do inverse only. No, nothing special like what's the identity thing. No, okay, just inverse. Okay, so let's start with the story of getting an ABCD okay so if I write an ABCD it's basically like a very original matrix where you didn't do anything to it and okay so I'll just write it as original okay now so what happened is if I perform a what I perform one inverse okay one inverse this is the first step that you will get okay so the first step comes in already the first step will be you will write a b c d with a negative one on top uh, so that will be stage number one now. okay so in our normal class i'll be repeating this so it's just that uh, i do this video to to make sure you have a how's a better view on it okay because if i explain it in the in the video right it's, it's very hard for me to like use hand gesture to mention it to you okay so i'll just do it over here so we can do a quick recap okay so the next thing will be your stage two uh, stage two is my main concern so what you do is when you get your stage one right uh, this one you must write you know so after you write this one then you move to stage two this will happen so it will be one over with a big bracket okay so what i always do is okay now the memorizing part of your inverse comes in already you put a cross okay then that's your first number right so the first one you see my hand gesture uh, first you times it ad you minus the next one bc Okay, so the important thing is you minus. Okay, so one more time, huh? So cross minus cross. Okay, cross you times it minus cross you times it. Okay, good. So after you get this minus, okay, just just emphasize that this is minus. Okay, so back to the first one again. So the first one you switch. Okay, look at my hand gesture. You switch. So D A. So you switch. The next one do you switch? No, you don't switch. So what you do? you insert negative so you put like negative c and negative b so that's how you do the inverse uh, okay now so after you perform this inverse then now it comes to stage three where i don't really recommend when you perform your simultaneous equation okay so stage three comes in ready so what you do is you will have a final two times two matrix okay of course you, you don't write this in your exam huh? okay so your final two times two matrix you will get plenty of okay so you will take this fraction outside you will multiply every single element then you will get plenty of fraction 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 which is very troublesome okay so you seldom you seldom come 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 into like stage number three and most of the time you will stop over here so that's why your stage two is the most in important stage okay so what i do is i'll just take this away i just turn around okay so you can just repeatedly use it sorry uh, so i use it over here now uh, so you can repeatedly use it lah, huh? okay so you can just uh, move back to the same video in front and just repeat your inverse uh, steps all the time okay now so what i do now is i'll be giving you some examples on numbers uh, so you can have a better view on it Okay, example number one. Uh. Okay, example number one. So if I get you a, let's say a four, uh, negative three, uh, let's say a one, uh, then this is a um, uh, 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 two. Uh, okay, so if I say, hey, I want to apply an inverse, okay, apply an inverse. So if I apply one inverse, four, negative three, one, two, you put negative one as your first stage, uh, okay. So stage two comes in ready. So one over a bracket. So same thing. Put a cross. The first one you cross times it, you get an eight. Minus of the next cross times you get what? Negative three times one, you get negative three, right? So negative three you put it inside, you get a plus three lah. Because suppose uh, this thing comes from eight minus minus three. Uh, so it's just that we change it to this thing already. Okay, so the first one you switch. Uh, so you see, it's the same hand gesture. Then the next one you don't switch, uh, you insert negative, negative, negative. See insert negative, you get plus three already. Now uh, after you reach this time, okay, we normally don't go into straight three, right? But I will still do it, do it lah. Okay, so easier for you to know. So this thing, the whole fraction becomes one over eight and three you get eleven uh, So this is what you get: two over eleven, three over eleven. You see, so troublesome when you come into like fraction. So remember, most of our questions stops here. Even simultaneous, 
we normally stop at stage two to to assist in our workings to improve the working speed to reduce our errors okay remember that okay so you will get negative one over eleven then eventually you get four over eleven fantastic okay now then next let's try one okay one extra one okay which is example number two let me get you a four three let's say i just simply get like two and six lah huh? okay so just try it out okay now so um if i say i want to perform inverse okay to this question over here so what will happen okay stage number one comes in really so what you do is you put like four two six three with a negative one okay where it shows inverse then after that what you do is stage number two okay one over cross and after that cross 12 minus 12 right okay then after that switch you see switch the hand gesture switch okay so next you don't switch you put negative okay so what you notice is now the important thing comes in already the important thing is this is the part where it's the weird one because one over zero it's maths error uh, so maths error means you cannot continue so it means no in verse matrix okay so if let's say this this case happens right i want you to remember this thing it means uh, ad minus bc equals to zero so what do i mean by that because when you get no inverse matrix is where this part is a zero uh, okay because if let's say this is a zero one over zero you get nothing right you get like not to say nothing but that's error so you see come back to this thing you see 12 minus 12 you get a zero right not? so that's the part where you get no inverse matrix ad minus bc okay cool so it's a quick recap on your inverse hand gesture on how you memorize them so that's the one i'll show you